you go outside on a hot day, you'll quickly feel the sun warming your face. Your eyes might be affected by the glare too. If a cloud passes over, you'll notice that it takes away some of the sun's heat and light. The ozone layer works in much the same way, blocking out many of the harmful ultraviolet or UV rays from the sun. If too many of these UV rays reach us, they can cause sunburn and even skin cancer. High levels of UV rays are also dangerous for our eyes and can cause cataracts, which is a clouding of the lens of the eye. If left untreated, it can lead to blindness. Because the world worked together to help repair the hole in the ozone layer, we've managed to prevent many cases of skin cancers and cataracts. But it's still important to wear sunscreen, a hat and sunglasses. The ozone layer doesn't just protect people, it saves our food from harm too. Plants and crops need sunlight for photosynthesis, a process which uses light energy to create the sugar they need to grow. While plants cannot avoid being exposed to UV rays, they have developed systems that help to reduce or repair damage, including pigments that act as sunscreens. But even so, too much exposure to too many UV rays can still cause damage to plants, leaving fewer crops and other plants for people and animals to eat. And that's bad news for all of us. As UV rays go through water, food chains in the ocean, such as fish that we and other sea creatures eat, can also be harmed. The amazing ozone layer shield prevents this from happening. It also protects many other things from the damaging effects of the sun, including all the plastic, rubber and wood that we use outside, in our playgrounds, buildings and cars. From the tiniest of living organisms to the giant skyscrapers towering over us, the ozone layer looks after our world. That's why it's so important that we look after it too.